Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to select and move multiple shapes and objects together at the same time in Microsoft Excel. Today's question comes from Miriam in Bakersfield, California, one of my Platinum members. Miriam says, I use Excel to make diagrams, flowcharts, and even org charts. I know there are better tools out there for this kind of thing, but I like sticking with Excel because it's simple and familiar. Me too. The only problem is that when I need to move several shapes or objects around at once, it's a real pain to click on each one individually. Is there a way to select a bunch of them at the same time so I can move or resize them together? Yes, of course there is. You just have to know the trick and I'm gonna show you the trick. But first, if you want to learn how to create objects and make things like flowcharts and stuff like that in Excel, go watch this video. I'll put a link to it down below. It's free. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel and it'll get you started. All right. So here I am in Excel. I'm in a brand new sheet. And if I insert some objects, let's insert uh, some basic shapes in here, like uh, let's put a square and let's do a circle over here. Maybe a line to join them together. Shapes, we'll do a line. We'll draw from maybe this one to that one. And then one more thing, I don't know, insert. Um, let's do, where is he? Let's do a smiley face, All right over here. Okay, we got a bunch of objects. Now, this is nothing with just, what do we got, four objects here? Normally to select multiple objects, you just hold down the shift key or the control key and you can click on multiple objects like that. Okay, and then you can move them, you can resize them, you can do all kinds of stuff. But let's say you got 50 objects. And yes, I've made some pretty complicated sheets myself with, you know, really big, like I, I did a, a whole floor plan for my house before I moved in, like where everything's going to go and what's, you know, where the stuff in the yard is going to be. And there's probably a couple hundred objects on that sheet. So how do you select a bunch of stuff at once? Well, it's real easy. On the home tab, you're going to go over to the editing group. You're going to go find and select and you're going to pick select objects. Now what this does is it makes it so that you can now click on individual objects or you can draw a box around multiple objects like that. And now I've got them all selected. I can move them all at once. Or if you want to, you can just click on one was what I do. And then you hit control A and that selects all of your objects. You see, and then you can click off of it. And then when you're done, just hit escape and it puts you back into normal editing mode. Right? And that's it. That's pretty straightforward. Find and select, select objects, select your stuff. It will not select the stuff in the background, by the way. The stuff is actually on in, in regular cells. Okay? And while you've got these guys selected, you can also move them with the arrow key. See, I'm holding down the arrow key. It's moving them to the left or to the right there. See, down. You can move them just a little bit. That's handy when you want to, you know, drag like a, like on your map, you want to drag a little door icon or a little, you know, fire hydrant or something, whatever's, whatever you've got on your little map there. And you just want to move it a little bit. And you could do things like resize them with the shift key, hold down shift and go to the like right arrow. It'll make them wider that way. And up arrow will make them taller like that, see? And uh, you can use the alt key, same way to rotate them. There's all kinds of weird things you can do. Notice also sometimes that will break your connections that you might have in here. See, you gotta click and drag this guy and drop it back on the connections. Also, you can select multiple objects and group them together. For example, click on this guy, click on this guy, right click, and there's a group option right here. You can group them together. So now those will be treated as one group in the future. So if you click off of it, even if you go back to regular editing mode, right? I'm back in regular spreadsheet mode now. I'll hit escape. And if I click on this guy and then drag it, see, these are grouped. And then, yeah, that line stays connected. Okay. And if you want to ungroup them, just right click, group, and then ungroup. If you like learning about stuff like this, check out my Excel course on my website. You'll find it right there. I'll put a link down below. And I hope that answers your question and I uh, hope you guys learned something. That's going to be your tech help video for today. 
Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. I'm excited to announce that I'm creating a brand new series of lessons focused on programming in Microsoft Excel VBA. If you've been looking to take your Excel skills to the next level and learn how to automate tasks, write custom macros, and unleash the full power of Excel VBA, these lessons are for you. Sign up now on my website at the link shown. You'll find a copy in the description down below the video window, and I'll send you more information on this exciting new series. If you'd like to see me make more Excel tech help videos, post a comment down below and say, I want more Excel. The vast majority of my videos are from Microsoft Access, the database program, because that's been my forte for the past three decades or so. However, I love Excel and I'm more than happy to make more videos for Excel and Word and PowerPoint and all the other topics that I teach. As you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so make your voice heard and let me know you want more Excel videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you have down below. I do my best to read them all as soon as I can. And also, be sure to share this video with that person in the office that always asks you Excel questions. Or, you know, that family member, mom, when she calls you and says, hey, I can't do this. Well, send her a copy of one of my videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Just click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when I post new videos. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, Click the join button down below and you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos and one free beginner lesson every month. Gold members get access to download all the sample spreadsheets that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use and a free expert level Excel course once a month after finishing the beginner lessons. And Platinum members get access to all of the previous perks plus all of my full beginner courses and one new developer course every month after finishing the expert levels. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you're looking for the links, click where it says show more down below the video window. YouTube actually does a pretty good job of hiding this thing. You'll see a list of other related videos, other information on the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when I post new videos, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Excel Level 1 course, check it out now. It's absolutely free. It's over 90 minutes long, and it covers all the basics of Microsoft Excel. And like I said before, even if you don't need it, I'm sure you know someone that does. That person that always is asking you Excel questions, well, send them this link. And if you like level one, level two is just a dollar and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. And if you like those, come to my website and I've got tons more lessons for all levels. I cover everything from the basics all the way up to advanced functions and more. And while you're on my website, stop by the Excel forum, post any questions you have and join in the conversation. As always, thanks for learning with ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Rost. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.